Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to take these glasses off because we have got the ring light on. Um, welcome back to my channel. Now, is it too early to be talking about the C word? And I'm talking Christmas, not coronavirus. Don't you worry. I don't think it is. You know, I went and saw my little sister. I say little, she's actually uh, 14 now. She's not that little anymore. Um, and she had her Christmas list like to the go, ready, and I'm thinking, I normally upload these videos in December, but I'm gonna have to upload it now, because if you've got your Christmas list sorted, I think so many other people will too. So I'm back with the famous Christmas wish list, Christmas ideas, kind of what I'd like for Christmas. I feel like when you get to the grand age of 22, it just sounds really bratty, but things that may be on my Christmas list, um, ideas to help you guys out and so on and so forth. So yeah, she's back with it. I'm hoping I can help you guys out if you're struggling for ideas. It's gonna be a mix of a favorites. I'm actually gonna throw in a few things I've been living that I either wanna reuse and get again for Christmas or it could really help you guys out. So yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please smash a big thumbs up if you do. The hair's a little bit all over the place. I styled the bangs so well this morning, but I think if I put the straighteners through them again, they're actually just gonna burn and fall out. So I just had to tuck them behind the ears. I feel like a state, we're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna just get on with this video. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. And let's talk all things Christmas. I'm so excited about this. So I want to start with like stocking fillers and little things you can make kind of hampers with. I'm just going to list off a few things to hopefully give you guys some um, help and some inspiration. So big one, top one, if you're making a stocking or a hamper for someone, go get them some fluffy socks from Primark. Favourite things, best things ever. And if I receive some for Christmas, you best believe I'd be whacking those on my feet straight away. Fluffy socks from Primark, I'm so here for it. Um, bath bombs. From Lush in particular, they do so many gorgeous bath bombs. And I'm sure they'll probably do some like Christmas gift sets and things like that. But any bubble bath, bath bombs, um, bubble bars, such a good idea for like hampers or stockings or just something to put on your list. Chocolate is the obvious one. Any form of chocolate sweets, um, try and hint to your friends, your family, or hint it to your mum so she knows what your favourite kind of chocolate is. Um, oh, just, just make someone a chocolate hamper, like I know that would make me so happy, so anything like that. And then also some like cute candles or wax melts, wax burners. I love them all, especially since moving out. Like me and Dan use our wax burner, wax melt, whatever you want to call it, so often. So I know that a present like a wax melt, like something like that, we should really, really appreciate it because we burn out as like multiple times a day. Um, a couple of the great ones, I've got one here to show you, the Wild Deodorant. I've just started using this and I do really, really like it. And it's so handy because I can just pop it in my bag, take it wherever I need to, because um, they're only little and they fit in your bag really nicely. So yeah, these are deodorants, they're like um, reusable deodorants. When these run out, you can buy top-ups for them. So whether you know someone that has one of these and you wanna get them a top-up, or yourself, whether you have one, and you're you like, Mum, get me a top up for Christmas, please. I love these. So, yeah, these are really handy to have. And, like I say, you can get the top ups too. As well as Estrid. Um, I've worked with Estrid in the past. And they're, they're a razor company. Um, oh, I think I worked with them about a year ago now. It's like November last year. I've never looked back. Like My Estrid is... It's always there in the shower. Um, I don't shave every day. But when I do shave, like, it is there. And I blooming love it. Last Christmas, Dan actually brought me um, the subscription where you get like I think I get four razor heads sent every other month I think that's about right yeah four razor heads sent every other month and I bloomin love it so even if you know someone or if you've got an estrid like the razor head subscription is honestly so good it's one of my Christmas presents from Dan last year and it's so perfect Okay, I'm not gonna go in like any particular order. I'm just gonna reel off a load of things to you guys and hopefully you get some inspiration like I say. Um, and hopefully this gives you different ideas depending on what budget you have. I didn't wanna stick with like really expensive things or really um, inexpensive things. I've kind of just done a mix. So yeah, I'm just hoping you get some ideas and this isn't a pointless video, but I don't know if the background's too much. This is a really temp setup. Um, I have got a sofa bed arriving it's during like a couple weeks, so. Once that has arrived, the Christmas setup's gonna be so much better. I'm gonna start with the main thing on my Christmas list. So this is something that I had this year. <laughs> 
been totally obsessed with them, worn and worn and worn them. They do them in various different colours, so I'm just mad on having another pair, and this is on my Christmas list to Dan. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this, and I'm going to absolutely butcher the name. I feel like I always do, but they are my Comme des Gassons. But yes, they are my Comme des Gassons. <laughs> Don't want to touch them, they really dirty. This is them here. I've wanted them for the longest time, but never thought I was mad enough to just go out and buy them. But because Dan had heard me talk about them so much, he bought them me for our anniversary. We just did a little bit of a special one because it's the first one in the house, blah, blah, blah. And he brought me these. And ever since he has brought them, they have been my go-to shoes. Every time I leave the house, I have these on. They go with everything. And they're such a comfy shoe. I absolutely love them. Now, they do also do them in cream. So, yeah, this is top of my Christmas wish list is these in cream because I just wear these so much. And do you know what? Considering I wear them, I must have worn these over 60 times now. They don't look too worn at all. Like, they're still in pretty good condition. So, yeah, these are top of my Christmas wish list in cream. I'll pop a picture on the screen so you guys can see what they look like in cream. But if you're thinking of one of these, like, this is me, like... I always knew I wanted them, but I never was desperate for them until I had them, and now I just can't get enough of them. I wear these over dunks, I wear them over anything and everything, they're just my go-to shoe. So, I can safely say that that is the top of my Christmas list. Now, if you are struggling, something that I um, got last Christmas off my parents, and again, didn't realise how much I wanted and needed one until I got one, was a... Bluetooth speaker. Um, to cut a long story short, I just really couldn't think of anything. I was like trying to get my dad to help me out with some ideas. My dad was like, What about a speaker? Like, my dad's really into his music. And I was like, Ah, oh, that's not a bad idea. And especially now that we've moved out, like, I just carry this like anywhere around the house with me. Um, like, while I'm cleaning, I always have it on. While I'm just sitting here editing, I have it on in the background quietly. Like, it's always nice to have a little bit of music playing. And this is the Marshall speaker, and I absolutely adore it it's so pretty again my dad just chose it out for me and he did such a good job now i did see i did see them in curries and they do this one and they do one with gold writing as well which again is so pretty so there's a couple different variations of this speaker in particular but also they obviously have like the beats pill i'm guessing that's still a thing you have the Amazon Alexas, you have loads of different kind of speakers, so yeah, if you're struggling for ideas, this is actually a really good one, and yeah, I'm so glad I got this last year, I've used it so, so much, especially since moving out, it's been a great little, a great little thing, and it kind of just sits, when I'm not using it, under there, just like that is where you'll find my speaker, let's talk perfumes. I was never interested in perfumes up until a couple years ago. I used to just have like my body sprays and things like that and then one year my nan brought me a perfume and ever since it's like a little tradition that she gets me a perfume every year. So I have a little collection just here. These are my favourite perfumes. Now we have two Lancomes. This one is actually almost all gone. I know this is Dan's favourite. This is just Oh, it smells incredible. I can't really help you guys out here because you can't smell them, but if you can go and smell these in shops, I'm just going to show you my few favourite ones, so if you recognise them, you can obviously smell them in shops. But this is the... I'm going to butcher the name. I, I can't even pronounce it, but it looks like this. I'll pop the details up on the screen, but it's this Lancome one just here. There's a tiny little bit left in here. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think... I think my nan wants to get me this one again for Christmas. Sorry, the camera cut me up and I don't know where we got to. But, um, so we have this one, which I'm going to butcher the name. I'm just going to pop it up on screen. This is more of like a, I don't want to use the word musky, but the one we have here is a lot more sweeter. So if you like sweeter smells, definitely go for this one. I honestly couldn't describe this one to you, but it's, it smells insane. I love it. But we have this one just here, which again, I love. Um, is this like Cis La Belle? Cis La Belle, however you pronounce it. Oh no, La Via Es Bella. Definitely butchered that. But this one's really, really sweet. This is gorgeous. And then the classic black opium. This again is gorgeous. 
Oh, this is like your typical nice perfume smell. I'm sure a lot of you guys have smelled this one or had it or tried it in the past, but this is another good little trusty perfume. And then of course you have your things like Alien as well. I'd look out for Black Friday, um, loads of perfume sites like Look Fantastic as well, places like that. I actually did have a discount code for Look Fantastic. I feel like it's amber 20 amber k 20 it's 20 percent off i know that it was quite a good discount code um but yeah brands and things like that always have big discounts on perfumes black friday time so i definitely say wait till then and save yourself a discount but perfumes are such a great little present for christmas or to receive as well now something else that was the top of my christmas wish list this is honestly this is bizarre so i've wanted this for quite a long time now it's pretty much ever since we moved and i got the keys to the house i kept saying to dan i was like i really want a nice key ring because when i just used to have like my like when i lived at home and i just had like my dad's house key it was pointless to have a big key ring like a key and then, one, and then a big key ring. But then obviously got my car keys, got house keys, different house keys and things like that. So I was like, oh, I actually really want a nice key ring at the minute. At the minute, I actually just have a bottle of hand sanitizer key ringed onto my keys. Like how 2020 can we get? But cut along story short, this was the top of my Christmas wish list along with the Comni Gassons. And it is the Giacomis little key ring and i got a pr package the other day that i wasn't expecting from kaya the label if you watch my vlogs you would have seen it and this was in it i was in like complete shock like complete shock when i saw this um and just that morning i was talking to talia about how much i wanted this key ring and then it turned up like it was so strange but obviously i was so happy and grateful that i got it but yeah this little key ring just here and i think it's such a gorgeous little christmas present i feel like it's a nice little christmas present to receive off your boyfriend don't know why but i just feel like it's a gorgeous little present so yeah this is it here and they do it in so many different colors but the black was exactly the one i wanted as well because it's not going to show the dirt or anything like that and it's just such a sweet little key ring but not even this key ring like there's so many gorgeous ones out there and it's a nice little sentimental piece as well you know so that might be on your christmas list or you could add it onto your christmas list so you a girl that tans, you a boy that tans. Um, I personally am, and I love fake tans. So my two favourite tans in particular are Filter by Molly May and Tanologist. Love these tans. And I believe that both you're going to be able to get like little Christmas bundles for Christmas. So this might be a good idea, especially if you're someone that fake tans on the weekly or monthly or however often you fake tan. This may be something good to add to your Christmas wish list because things like this, they add up, don't they? Like having to buy tan is so much effort. Um, so it's always nice to stock up and have some in your house, in your room, you know? I'm just hoping there's no fake tan on this carpet now but yeah these personally are my two favorites and like i say i believe they're both going to be doing some form of like christmas bundles over christmas before i go into more stuff i thought i'd just talk you through some stuff as well so phone cases is always a good one especially when i was younger like i was obsessed with collecting phone cases it was so weird like when i first got my own like, amazon account all i ever used to order was phone cases really kind of like a strange habit i had there just ordering so many phone cases now, two brands in particular are the Phone Case Company and Case Defy. They stand out to me of um, places that do great phone cases and they always seem to be really good for your phone. Um, like whenever I've dropped my phone with one of those cases on, it's never smashed. So I'd say they're definitely two brands to look at if you're looking for phone cases. Another great one is hair care gift sets. This is something you probably don't think about, but again, look fantastic in particular, just ring a bell. I know they do a lot of Christmas gift sets and I'm thinking they're gonna be doing, I think they do it all year round. They do like Olaplex gift sets. That is such a great idea, like boyfriends in the back if you're watching this. This is something your girlfriend might be interested in. I'm not saying go to the shops and get a bottle of heat protective spray. We're talking about the cute little gift sets, you know, like you can get cute little Olaplex gift sets or um, probably bedhead gift sets. There's probably so many different ones you can do. Beauty Works probably do quite a few as well, but I feel like they're a nice present to give and also a nice present to receive. Any age as well, like I feel like my 14 year old sister would love it. And like mums might love it too. Um, they're a really good gift set for like all types of ages. So I think 
I feel like hair care products is a really good present to receive. So two most so two makeup products in particular that I'm living at the minute is the Huda Beauty Anniversary Lipstick. Now this is my go-to lipstick. I wear it all the time. Any vlog, any video you see me wearing a lipstick, any Instagram picture, it's going to be this one. This is the only one I wear. And this is Huda Beauty in the shade Anniversary. It is available on ASOS. So I definitely sell out where it's like ASOS have got like 20% off. Grab yourself a bargain um, and save some money on it. But yeah, it has started to be stocked on ASOS so yeah this is my go-to lipstick and then I've also been living this we're gonna call it I was gonna call it BB cream but I don't know if we can really call it that color correcting full coverage cream and hydrating anti-aging concealer this has been insane I've only used it about four or five times. I mean, I haven't even had it a week yet, but I can say I absolutely love it. I wanted something a little bit lighter than foundation, and I was asking you guys for your recommendations, and this cropped up a few times. So I picked it up from Boots, and they actually had like 20% off it, which was great, so I think it cost me... So yeah, I grabbed it from Boots, and I think they had 20% off it, so I think it cost me like around £26, but it is insane. The bottle's super cute as well, sorry, it's a little bit dirty. But the reason I got it from Boots is because I wanted to get colour matched on it. The worst thing ever is buying something online, it's turning up and it's just not your shade. So yeah, went to Boots, got colour matched, and picked this up, and I love it. I want to pop it on my Christmas list already for when it runs out. I think it's just so gorgeous. It's so much lighter than a foundation and just, yeah, it just doesn't feel heavy on your face. So I do really, really recommend this. So, of course, another great presents are vouchers, gift cards, a good one that I didn't even think of, um, but when I asked my parents what they wanted for Christmas, Ryanair vouchers. Um, so yeah, you just, you whether someone has a place out in a different country and you just, uh, you buy them the plane tickets and then their accommodations are already sorted or all they have to buy is then their accommodation. I thought it was such a good idea and it's something that my family do a lot um, as a family member does have a, a place abroad. So yeah, Ryanair vouchers, I was like, that's such a good idea. Like even if me and Dan had those, all we then have to do is book our accommodation, which then saves you money. So Ryanair vouchers, bet you didn't think of that one. Um, and then the, of course the main ones like ASOS, Next, Ikea do vouchers, didn't even know that. Um, well, you can get vouchers anywhere now, look fantastic vouchers. I mean, if that's a thing, which I'm pretty sure it is, I'm sure I've brought some one of those in the past. Things like that are great presents, um, especially for people who don't know what they want. It's always good to just get them a voucher. It's like, oh, my family down always gets ASOS vouchers for his birthday, which is um, in Jan, and he gets Christmas ones as well. So then throughout the year, his clothes are just sorted and he just uses his vouchers um, throughout the year. So vouchers are always a good little thing as well. But yeah, that is everything. I didn't want this video to be too long of me rambling too much, but I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're still here now. And I'm sure I'm going to leave it a few weeks. We'll leave it till the start of December and then Christmas content is going to be coming with a bang. I'm so excited to put up a Christmas tree. Uh, honestly, we brought this house back in May. We moved in and one of the first things I thought of was, oh my God, I can feel my Christmas content in front of a Christmas tree this year. Nobody actually understands how happy that makes me. So I hope you guys are ready. I am so ready. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching today's video. And I'm sure I'll see you all very soon for another video. Goodbye, guys.